Oh, I didn't even realize the game had voice acting. What? Come inside, little dove. It's getting late. Tell me what happened that night. Evelyn. You said you would tell me when I got older. It's my 18th summer already. I think it's high time I knew. I know, dear. It's not easy for me to talk about. Tell me what happened to my father. Come inside. I'll tell you everything. It was just like any other night at the circus. We were preparing for a performance with Aron. Everything was fine until those men attacked the camp. They came running out of the woods without warning. We were defenseless. giving us enough time to escape. I remember the man who Oron was fighting. His black full plate armor and great sword were more than a match for him. Oh shit. Endure restores your health. Dodge avoids the next enemy attack. Counter strikes back after an enemy and mouse, mouse over the enemy ship condition. Uninjured. Second, why did you all of a sudden have another turn? What's that about? The last thing I remember was how I, I, I still have nightmares of that day. It's okay, Mom. Calm down. That's enough. I'm sorry, little Duff. We should head to bed. It's a big day tomorrow. Sleep well, little Duff. You too, Mom. Stressed. Thank you for taking us in, Edwin. You've been saying that every night for the last ten years, darling. And, as always, you're welcome. It's the least I could have done. Chapter one echoes from the past. Oh, I must have slept in. I guess Edwin didn't want to wake me up. Well, better get ready for the day.
That's a picture of Edwin's mother. Sadly, I never got to know her. Edwin writes his stories here. I don't know how much of it is true. He talks a lot about his adventures when he was younger. We have a lot of books about managing a business, gardening, brewing beer, pressing wine, everything you need to be a successful tavern keeper. Damn, I'm running fast. I was fucking moving. Some pretty good wine here everfall red wine northern blood wine local favorites Notice that Edwin has a golden exclamation mark on his head. Okay, a main quest objective. Good morning, dear. Ready for the big day? Almost. I still have to find a gift for Evelyn. She's growing up so fast. Oh, good luck with that. Those younglings can be so demanding these days. Well, I better head to the market and try to find something fitting. I pray she chooses one of the suitors for herself. I just want to see her happy. I know. But that's her choice. She can deny them all if she so wishes. Remind me again how all this works? I know the noble traditions may be a bit confusing, but each year after her 18th summer, on her birthday, admirers from noble families can ask for her hand. What if she doesn't choose anyone? Do we really have to do this every year? Until she chooses someone, yes. That's what you get for marrying into a noble family. Sorry. No, oh, Edwin, you silly goose. Well, I better get going. I don't want to get stuck in the midday crowd. Get her something nice. I will. See you later, honey. Side quest, okay. Hey there, Percival. How was your night shift? Same old, same old. I do have a little bit of a problem, though. How's that? I haven't been able to pay my rent. My landlord is breathing down my neck. Could you do something about it? I've dealt with him before and I shall do it again. Not to worry, Percival, I got your back. Thank you, Johanna. It means a lot. He's probably hanging around the marketplace. Well, well, well. Hello, 12 -y. I should head to the marketplace to find something for Evelyn. She's old enough now, so I was thinking of something she could protect herself with. Okay. You post our job openings here on this board. Morningstar is such a beautiful city. Better to avoid the old town, though. Melanie. I've been seeing you in various places around the city. The men seem to be enchanted by my voice. <clears throat> music is so loud it's beautiful but like it's so loud it would be great to see a long summer this year the 
They told me not to go to Old Town, but I really want to go to Old Town. Oops. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did it get sussy in here so quickly? Oh! That's a dead person. There's a... Yo! Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Evelyn, we gotta get the fuck out of this town. <gasps> what? Isn't that the person I'm supposed to talk to? Mr. Varian. No, it's not. I am a soothsayer. Want to hear your reading? Sure. Pain and sorrow, but also accomplishment and bravery. Most of it is shrouded in mystery. That is all I can see. You're an interesting one. What the fuck? What the fuck? That... This game went from beautiful and peaceful to fucking scary. Literally just by me walking in this building. About Voidcraft. This could be useful information. Hey, I took the book down there. You yeah, can do quests for people, more anomalies, more people will know of you and might be more trusting towards you. Okay. Hello, good person. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? Edwin is my husband? Why he built like that, bro? <sighs> I met him after running away from the circus? Bro, what? Beautiful daughter who just turned 18. Mother of Evelyn and wife to Edwin. After the devastating incident at the Circlist, you escaped with young Evelyn to the city of Morningstar. There Lucifer Morningstar? Wait a second. Morningstar? There you met a local nobleman, Edwin, who took you in. Together you managed the Golden Mare Tavern, an establishment that has been in Edwin's family for centuries. Divorce, please. Oh my god. He was your partner when you were performing at the circus ten years ago. What is, why, why is it like, yeah, you don't know what he looks like. We literally just played as him. Voidcraft. Okay, I shouldn't read volume two until I read volume one. Getting them out of order might get confusing. That was so weird. Why was it so sussy in there? Yo, Zelf, there's a dead motherfucker in that apartment. Do you want to maybe go check on him? Well, I mean, you, there's no point to check on him because he's dead, but still. Yeah, I finished. I finished what's available for Black Skylands. I finished, um... They said that they have an update planned for December. So maybe at the end of December, maybe... December's going to be a busy-ass month. Maybe... Maybe... 
January, I'll go back to it. We'll see. Millie. I love her hair. Hey, can you help me? The warehouse is infested with rats. Could you perhaps do something about it? Why don't you deal with it yourself? I can't leave my post. That sounds like a you problem. Yes, bitch. Get her ass, Joanna. I can give you my pay for the week. Just bring me those rats alive. I need them fresh. I'm not even going to ask. Do you have a snake? <laughs> or the fug? What's dropping in December for you? Um, nothing. I don't think anything drops in December. Where are these rats at? I'll beat their asses. Come here, you little punk. Rat map and a letter written in some weird symbols. Girl, you better put that down. Girl, you better put that down. What does that say? Is that like code? Oh, you meant real life busy? No. I mean stream busy because I have a lot of things like I have a lot of games planned for December that's all <clears throat> why can't I kill the rats could I just kill one? Oh, do I have to like walk on them or click on them oh, okay I have to click on them come here come here you bastard me a little, you little runt. Hello. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> My resolve, yes, yeah, save for later. Beautiful. Cover back. Hello, I am back. Is 
Ignore the smell. Hey there. Say, would you be interested in a little task? What do you have in mind? I have a room at the Su Sima Inn in the old town, but the thing is, the place is haunted. I'll give you today's profits from the fish sales. I just need to get back into my room. That's where the dead person is. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh my god, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry got the drip. I lost Lady Peyton in a crowd. I can't find her anymore. She's a beautiful lady with a fancy green dress. You can't miss her. Oh god. You need to stop harassing your tenant, Percival. He'll pay you when he can. Uh oh. Do you like wine? I can't just ask him if he likes wine. <laughs> I have to have two social. I need to find a gift for my daughter. He just whips it out. This blade was forged by the elves some hundreds of years ago. It's beautiful work, isn't it? It sure is. How much do you ask for it? Let's say 50 gold. You can help me with this. Obsidian. Why does he just whip it out like that?
Does he get mad if you say I'll pass? Oh, great. Holy shit. That scared me. Alright, alright, you got me. You got me. You got me. Avoid stone. The ghost disappeared as soon as I picked up the stone. Depleted its power should return to Delta now, but the body remains curious. Is it curious? What the hell is that? That's a whole ass dead person. I better not be blamed for it. That's all I'm saying. Hey, when I entered that room, you know that person was dead, right? So, okay. Just making sure. Sheesh. Uh... I'm being mugged. Bugger off. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> yes, Evelyn! Get the fuck out of here. Oh, dearie, that was way too close. Thank you for helping me. My precious amulet is gone. The other guy must have taken it. I should have checked if he had it first. I'll try to find him. Why, that is mighty kind of you. Thank you. How did you end up here? Well, I just followed my instincts. I do have a great sense of direction if I do say so myself. It's just that this city is new to me, so I kind of got lost on the way. Your servant was looking for you in the marketplace. I better make my way back then. Cheerio. It's not that way. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> Yo, I did I kill this man? <laughs> Stop! Did I fucking kill this man? Wake up. Wake. Did I kill this man? Oh my god, that's so funny. I thought I could get away with it. You're not my mother. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she went back to the marketplace, didn't she? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Bro just slumped. He's just slow. He's just gonna take a nap on the cold pavement for a while. Sheesh. God damn. That's not funny. Fairly, fa family heirloom. Okay.
probably should should save that. Oh god. Why did it auto save right there? What an odd spot to auto save. All right, before I get clapped by the demon. Damn, he just gave me, yo. He just gave me that shmoney. God damn, that's all I had to do was ask for it. Jeez. Um, okay. Um. Wait, I wanted to... The book. Of Morningstar by R. Sky Strider. 218, or 219 Age of Kings, Alfred Morningstar. A fine city, a very trading post, and a center of culture. The city houses the finest traders, workers, and the famed adventurers guild. There are clear class differences inside the city, with rich areas flourishing while the poor districts are falling into despair. <laughs> Morningstar has been ruled over by the Morningstar family since it was founded. The city was under siege several times during the Age of Kings, but every time the aggressors were repelled. This all is thanks to the elite forces of Morningstar, which are some of the best soldiers of Aura to this day. Okay. Races of Aura. The original and oldest of the races is the humans. All the other races were mutated from humans after the Ark and Break incident. There are they are jack of all trades. About half of all the inhabitants of Aura are human. They are thin, beautiful, and have pointed ears. They are most liked of all the races, mainly for their looks and natural charisma. They are the wisest of the races, and they can live for around five hundred years. hybrid a hybrid is a mix of human and any animal they're usually kind-hearted cheery and positive no matter what when fighting they are adept at being up close and personal making them great fighters a hybrid lives to be around 80. oh that one i was reading elf i didn't read that part my bad cambion rarest of the races they are seen as devilish with their pointy tails and tongues they are naturally good at using magic there are only some hundreds of Cambians. No one knows how long they can live, as reportedly none of them have died of old age. Damn. Orcs. The orcs are nomadic. They prefer to live among their own kind and in tribal villages. Where was I? They make excellent warriors and hunters. Orcs can live to be 300 years old. Lizards. The most distrusted of the races. Their cunning and sleek movements make them great thieves, spies, and rangers. They can live for at least 600 years. 
Damn. Merfolk? What the hell? They live anywhere near the coast, preferring salt water. They are resistant to the toxic water and can consume it without any adverse effects. They are the best sailors and make the best ships. They live for about 400 years. Wow. <laughs> it's weird the jarring difference between the lizards and then the merfolk. The lizards is like... Yeah, they're the most distrusted. Um, they're agile and cunning, so they make great thieves and spies and rangers. That's it. <laughs> and meanwhile, this merfolk one is like, they're resistant to toxic water and they can consume it without any adverse effects. Also, they're the best sailors and they make the best ships. It's like, damn. All we know about lizards is that people are racist to them. <laughs> the most racist to them. <laughs> Half breed. Seen as impure, disgusting, and unwanted. Half breed is a mix of any two races. They usually grow horns and other abnormalities. When people of two different races have a child, there is a minimal chance for the child being half breed. Their magical abilities are to be feared as their usage of spells may produce unexpected and powerful effects. Most of them get easily sick and die before their 30s. Okay, well, that was fucking horrible to read. That's horrible to read. So, you're telling me that there's a race of aura called the hybrid. It's a mix of a human and an animal. And that's okay. But if you have a human and a lizard or a human and an elf or a human and an orc, that's terrible. But like a human and an animal is just fine. Okay. I guess. Let me read the Voidcraft one. Voidcraft is the pro pe profession of activating void stones to awaken their magical powers and using them to your advantage. There are multiple different types of void stones. Purple. I think the one we got was purple. Creation magic is the ultimate power that created the universe out of the void. It is believed to carry the power of Valo, Valo themselves. Growth magic is the power of accelerating the growth and modifying the lifespan of flora. Time magic allows the user to alter the flow of time close to them, making it possible to achieve superhuman speed and reflexes. Force magic is the power of telekinesis, allowing the user to move objects from afar. With the force, you can also affect the pressure of air in a small space to create fire. Wind magic... Or mind magic, the user can modify the thoughts of others. It can be used to put someone to sleep or make them do certain tasks. Ugh. Um, prolonged influence to mind magic can alter the affected person's personality completely. Matter magic is the power of altering all kinds of matter to any shape you want. Death, withering, necromancy. That's the power of decay magic, the most infamous of the different types. Essence magic is the power of spirit, mystery, and life. It holds many secrets which have not been properly experimented with to this day. Okay. This purple void stone. What did they say that that was? Essence magic? It looks like it's purple at least. Mind control? Not controversial. <laughs> right like mind control is so fucked dude that shit is fucked that shit is so fucked as soon as i hear the words or the string of words you can make people do what you want i'm like okay okay that's fucking that's something else. That's definitely something else.
Who's the who's Delta? Who's the one that's like my apartment is haunted? This one. No, that was the dead bot. No, no, that dead body was not a hallucination. You fucking crackhead. You actual crackhead. The suitors may now present their gifts. I'm Jacob. Please accept these roses. I picked them myself just for you. Thank you, but I don't give a fuck about flowers. Aw, <laughs> that little tear. Oh, he's crying. I, Anders, hunted a boar for you. I prepared these steaks in your honor. Accept my humble gift, please. I don't even eat meat. Poor bear. My dear, oh, I thought that was a woman. My dearest lady, Demetrius knows what the lady likes. These jewels are collected from the tombs of the old kings in the golden desert. Aren't they wonderful? So you're a grave robber? Robert? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you get back. <laughs> I'm Miranda. Pleased to meet you. Excuse me, but I don't have anything other other to offer but my hand i can only promise to do my best in holding you dear if you decide to accept my proposal i'll think about it oh i love that i love that for them my lady evelyn my name is aragon okay aragon maxwell i'm pleased to make your acquaintance this is for you so clearly she picks him because he's voice acted uh, a void stone why would you give me something like this uh-oh ha <laughs> well I don't believe in the usual offerings admirers are accustomed to. I'd rather offer something practical. I could teach you how to use that thing. This motherfucker. What? Really? Oh, wow, that would be amazing. I've always wanted to be able to cast magic. Oh, the void stones are just so rare and hard to acquire. Where did you get this, anyway? It's a secret. Maybe I'll tell you someday. Let's go outside and I'll teach you a few things. I hate this dude. You know, you can pick the girl, you can pick the girl, and then you can just have the suit teach you. You don't have to pick him. Just well, so that he teaches you. Well, it looks like she made her choice. How do you feel, Hannah? He seemed like a nice guy, but... a void stone? Aren't those things dangerous? I wouldn't worry about it, dear. I'm sure she can handle it. She's not a child anymore. Not this man grooming her with this know, void stone. I just feel like... Well, maybe they should have asked for my permission first. You know young people. They get enthusiastic about those kinds <laughs> of things. You don't need to be afraid. She's a smart girl. And knowing her, she'll punch him in the face if he treats her wrong. 
That's my girl, all right. Okay, Edwin, I'll try not to worry. What's next? He's a damn it! As it is tradition, we have to offer free food and lodging for the suitors. It's kind of a payback for the trouble of finding offerings and coming all the way here from wherever. Very wherever? Well, go prepare the rooms. Oh my god, we're never gonna see our daughter again. Uh, <laughs> that stupid void stone, what the fuck? No one ever loves me. All right, relax. Some salmon would hit right about now. Am I gonna end up using the dagger because my daughter's gonna. something's gonna happen to her? Probably. Two months, holy shite. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Nicely done. You're learning fast. That's called force magic, the ability to move objects from afar. Now watch this. <clears throat> Growth magic, magic of bending plants to my will. It's quite amazing, isn't it? I've never felt anything like this before. Oh, let's try some more. <clears throat> now, now, don't get too excited. Prolonged use of void stones can cause headaches and nausea. Especially for someone as inexperienced as you. Why don't we take the rest of the night to walk around the city? Um, no the fuck not. Oh, of course. Sounds good to me. Where do you want to go? You stupid, stupid little girl. Have you ever seen the city from the old bell tower, for example? I could get us there. No one's allowed to go there. The tower could fall at any minute. He's literally a dragon. Are you saying that you're scared? No, I'm just saying. They guard it day and night so the kids won't go climbing on it. How would you get us past the guards? I have my ways. Come on, I'll show you. This stupid girl. Oh my god, I'm about to smack the fuck out of her. Huh. Where are the guards? He killed them. I told you I have my ways. Duh. Come on, let's climb to the top. Girl, you better not- Fuck out of here. Oh my god. It's, it's- It's beautiful. I've never seen the city like this. Bro, what did you just type in my chat? 
What the fuck? How old are you? You have... I think you're a child. I really... There's no... How old are you? How old are you? Tell me. Tell me right now. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 38. So then act like it, please. Please. Perfect timing, too. Look up. Oh, wow! Falling stars! I've never seen so many at once. My mother used to tell me that they're angels falling from the sky who renounced their angelic heritage to live among us as mortals. <laughs> she was lying, of course. They're actually void stones, pieces of rock and metal that burn up when they fall out from the void above. Usually, they burn completely to ash before they hit the ground, but sometimes you can find small chunks of void stones that manage to fall all the way down. That's why they're so rare. How do you know all of this? My mother was a wise woman. She taught me everything I know. She's not around anymore. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. It's okay. Let's just enjoy the show while it lasts. This usually happens only once a year. Why? I have been staring at this man's, like, shirt. And I just don't understand. You have to be a dragon. You are a dragon, right? You're a dragon? Because why? Why do you look like that? What's going on with whatever is underneath your jacket? Like, what is that? It looks like scales of, like, armor or something, right? It looks like, like he's on his Doom Guy type beat. But, like, I don't You're know. Gone. This is weird. Thank you for bringing me here. I really liked it. I'm glad. So, does this mean you accept my proposal? Nope. <laughs> yes, I'd love to get to know you more. Likewise, my lady. Likewise. Cringe. Yes, that's a dude. This blade sure is a work of beauty. I used to be quite handy with a dagger. If I'm going to train Evelyn how to use it, I should first make sure I can still handle it. We have a training dummy in the basement. I could test it out. He said, oh, that's a dude. <laughs> yes, that is a dude. that motherfucker the quick time event okay my a bad one can decrease my skills Fucking him up. Oh. Okay. That was nerve wracking. That was nerve wracking.
So, when am I going to meet Aragon's father? I believe there's to be some sort of formal arrangement. Yes, both families have to approve the engagement. After that, there's, of course, the pilgrimage. Oh yes, that. Why does everything have to be so complicated? Can't they just be together and that's it? It's never that simple with the nobles. They have to make the pilgrimage to the holy sites of our gods to be approved in their eyes. It's the most important journey of their lives, as that will also test their compatibility. Can they handle being together on a six-month journey? If they can, then they're pretty much set for life. Of course. <sighs> What's taking them so long? They should be back by now. It's almost midnight. I'm sure they'll be here any minute. I Bruh. Can oh my god, she fucking dead. He pushed her off. Well, speak of the devils. The younglings decided to finally return. That's not her, that's a ghost. Oh, uh, sorry. We were looking at the falling stars. There were so many. Okay, calm down. Oh, that's so romantic. Hannah, why don't you ever take me out to look at the stars? Edwin, don't be silly. I'm just joking. Come on, Evelyn. I have a gift for you. So, Aragon, I hope you treated Evelyn well. Of course, my lord Edwin. She deserves only the best. Well, I am glad to hear that. When can we expect to hear from your father? I'm going to send a raven to him tonight. He'll be arriving here as soon as he receives the good news. A raven? Excellent. Well, my lord Aragon, your room has been prepared for you. If you need anything, feel free to ask. Thank you, my lord. Have a good night. Sussy boy. Sussy boy. So, what did you get me? Now that you're of age, you need to be able to defend yourself. That's why I got you this. Oh my god, it's... It's beautiful. Are you sure about this, Mom? You're not a child anymore. It's about time you learned how to handle a weapon. Oh, yes! Oh, thanks, Mom. You're the best. She stabs me with it. I know. Just remember to be careful with it. The next day. Oh, God. I should talk to Edwin about it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why is there just that giant sword there? Like, I don't understand. That's the sword that apparently killed our... Our husband. Or her father. See if there's anything we can do in the city. What's going on here? This creepy dude is still here. All right, let. Body is gone. This is so weird. <clears throat> like, literally, why the fuck does he look like that, dude? Ah! Why he built like that, dude? Come on. Oh my god, this dude is literally dead. <laughs> what the fuck? I killed that man. I wanted to knock him out, but I killed him.
What does that mean? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Welcome, my lord. I hope the journey went well, father. Yes, yes. Well, where is she? Please, come in. Evelyn and her mother are waiting for us inside. You must be Johanna. Well met. You may call me Norman. Norman Maxwell. What? Why do I feel like I've heard that before? My lord. Ah, yes, and this young lady must be Evelyn. My son had a lot to say about you, and it seems like he wasn't exaggerating. A pleasure. Why he also got the turtle shell on, dude? What is... And he got a giant fucking scar and... And an eye patch and a bald head. This man has killed people. Likewise, my lord. Well then. The journey was long and arduous. I expect my room has been prepared for me. Of course, I'll show you to your room. So, what do you think of Aragon? Is he a fitting man for your daughter? Uh, he seems to be. This is all just so new to me, I... I understand. We've all been there. Wonderful. My son has been searching for his intended for several years now. I would be glad if you were to formally approve the arrangement. But what about the pilgrimage? I'm afraid of letting my daughter go out there in the world. Ah, you don't need to worry. I trained my son myself to use a sword. He can protect Evelyn. I see. I think it'll be alright then. When would they leave? As soon as possible. It would be preferable if they completed the journey before the first snows. Hmm. Very well. I approve of the arrangement. Excellent. It is agreed. Uh. uh I, I, I'm sorry, my lord. I, I need some air. What the fuck? Pets on and he doesn't protect, yeah. What are these visions I'm having? Oh my god. You have a bad feeling about him, really? Oh, you're saying the fucking Doom Guy gear and the giant fucking scar across his eye and the eye patch and the fucking bald head. And you're saying you have a bad fucking feeling? Like, wow, you're so observant, Johanna. Johanna, more like, yo, mama. <laughs> Got him. Literally demolished you. I literally destroyed you. Doesn't he have the giant sword? Um. Yeah, 
He lost his eye and his hair. You can't trust him. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, where's his room? Oh, okay, this is it. Lord Maxwell, your plan was successful. The witches have been beaten back at the crossroads, and they can no longer disrupt our supply lines. We captured one of their men who told us everything we need to know. Make sure to deal with our contact in Morningstar. We no longer need him. I hope you'll be able to retrieve the weapon from him. Be ever vigilant, and carry the title of the Red Baron with honor. V. <clears throat> Johanna, what are you doing here? Oh, I... My, my lord, I, I was just... What are you looking for? You should know better than to go through a noble's belongings. No, no. I was making sure that the... I, I'm sorry, I... Tell me. Why? It was you. What? You killed Auron. You killed Evelyn's father. What is the meaning of this? What or who are you referring to? Ten years ago, a night at the circus, you came running from the woods with your men. You killed everyone, without warning. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I recognize the armor. I recognize the sword. It had to be you. Stop this madness. Ten years ago, I was still just a soldier. I wasn't in any position to order an attack like that. I don't believe you. The engagement is off. Take your son and leave us alone. Johanna, please, we don't have to do this. We already agreed. Well, I'm invalidating that agreement. You can't. The young ones have already chosen each other. Our agreement is just formal etiquette, a mutual understanding. Mutually understand this blade I'm a shove in your dick if you don't take your son and get the fuck out of here. Nix, take your noble traditions. My daughter isn't marrying the son of a murderer. Yes, queen. I demand oh. a duel. She just smacked him. I'm gonna get clapped. Mother, what in Velo's name has gotten into you? Why are you doing this? Stand aside, Evelyn. I have to do this. You're being overprotective again, aren't you? Stop it, Mom. Just stop it. I'm sorry, little Doug. No! I can't believe you. Here! Have your dagger back. I don't want it. You're going on the pilgrimage with Aragon, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Goodbye, Mother. You fucking idiot. You actual stupid ass bitch. Are you not embarrassed? This is so embarrassing. You don't have to do this, Johanna. You can still back down. I'm not backing down. Draw your weapon. Very well. I do what I must. So I'm just gonna get clapped anyway. It says try to defeat your foe. Try to, as in I can't, but try to.
Jesus. Blood magic. Caesar! Okay, now I have a scar on my face. I look like Zuko. I got that Zuko Anna, fit. Can you hear me? Why did you do it? Why did you challenge him? You know, they're blaming you for blood magic. How is that possible? I see. Well, they're transferring you to the Watcher compound soon. I'm sure you don't want that. I don't want that either. I'm just going to... Am I mute? What the here. fuck? I must go now. Stay safe, Johanna. Did they take my money? They probably took my money. He took my money! <laughs> I was rich. I was ballin'. What the hell? Is that may Nick shroud me in shadows? I have to find a way out of here. You look like a bad bitch. Our stupid ass daughter, dude. My god, what are you doing out of yourself? I'm gonna beat your ass. Uh -oh. oh! Oh my god. I think I- am I possessed? I must be possessed. That's my bag of money! <laughs> Wait, I had way more than 25. I had like 140 or some shit. Girl, you did that. The fuck you mean what happened? Gods of Aura? Supreme God. Multiple gods are being worshipped in Aura. The first of them was Valo, Valo, the god of light, life, and creation. It was them who was born out of nothingness and created the world. Symbol of Valo is a shining star. Greater deities. Out from the ground, Eden was born, the goddess of earth, growth, and strength. She created the mountains and the islands. The symbol of Eden is a rose. Out of the sea, Halcyon was born, the goddess of water, health, and the flow of time. She created the flow of water and time that, cre that keeps the world alive. The symbol of Halcyon is three spirals in a triangular formation. 
out from the sky, Celestis was born the goddess of air, water, or weather, and the moon. She created the atmosphere, making the air breathable, and the moon to bring light to the night. The symbol of Celestis is the moon. Out from the depths of the planet, Nyx was born the goddess of night, darkness, and death. She created the shadows. The symbol of Nyx is a black mask. Out of a volcano, Azar was born, the goddess of fire, forges, and judgment. She gave fire to man. The symbol of Azar is a hammer. Out from a meteorite that fell to the ground, Amon was born, the goddess of destruction, war, and apocalypse. She brought with her discord and disease among the peoples of Aura. The symbol of Amon is an evil eye. It is said that the gods of Aura walked the land before the humans came. None of this can be proven, but some believe that the final resting places of their mortal forms can be found somewhere in Aura. music is nice it's spooky but I like it This is Auron's grave. I have to know. What? It's... it's empty! Chapter 2, Twists of Fate. So she has escaped. Send out a search party and bring her husband to me. Incompetent fools. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I only did what I had to. Oh, you lordling fool. You have no idea what's happening, do you? You were going to torture her? Put her in chains for the rest of her life? I know how you treat your prisoners. I couldn't let you do that. No, I was trying to save her. She wielded a dagger infused with blood magic. Its power was triggered during our duel, and it marked her. Now they know they're coming for her. Wh what Have you heard of the War Witch Covenant? A group of alchemists and witches who were responsible for the Arkenbreak incident 700 years ago. They've been experimenting with blood magic for some decades now. What do they have to do with this? They mark people with their hidden weapons, which they make sure to end up in some unsuspecting people's hands. After that, they can slowly start to control their minds. They become their tools. And now that you've let her escape, she is in grave danger. We have to find her before they do. Oh no. Why did you just tell him that? Like, why would you hide that from him? The fuck? Could he still be alive? Now I'm fucking... Now I'm hallucinating my dead husband's fucking... Because uh, I got these daggers on me. How? Boy, I fuck? saw him die. Damn, that stay look good. Look at that shit, just chilling there on that part. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm Lilith. Uh huh. All right, she's gonna eat me. She's gonna eat me. She what? What is she? She's the Cambro C Cambrian or whatever, right? Something like that. The mushrooms do look cool. What are you doing here in the woods in the middle of the night? 
I'm really hungry and I saw your campfire. Could I have a bite? She's asking if she can take a bite from you. Come sit by the fire. It's okay. Bruh. So, why are you here? She's ripped. Yeah, she's absolutely killed people and eaten them. I ran into some trouble back home. Had to leave everything behind. Oh, I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> so, what's your name? Johanna. Can I sleep here tonight? Of course. I'll keep the fire going. Uh, uh, Ara. Where, where are you? Took my gold, that thief. Nix, take you. I only had like twenty-five bucks, so what's she gonna get? A burger and fries with that money? Come on. She really stole from me. That's crazy. We didn't even get a chance to say no to her staying here. Wow. I really like this pan of an air of a new area that you go in. That's really cool and like nostalgic. I like it. Welcome to our humble shop. Several different potions that can be used to enhance your prowess in different ways. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Well, I don't have any money because that jacked demon bitch stole it from me while I slept like a coward. 
Someone's been stealing my fish and my sails are plummeting. I'm sure the thief is someone in this town. I bet it's the same person who stole from me. Hey, Miranda. You look different. I have a fucking scar over my eye, but I just look different. <clears throat> Welcome to Ivy with Trader. Ashera, would you be available for a simple task? The small parcel must be brought to Maria. Maria Evergreen of the Evergreen Range with utmost speed. What the fuck? I'm delivering some fucking evil ass shit. Wow. Fuck you. Oh my god, look at all that wheat. Damn. Wheat for days. Wow, what a beautiful grave. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. I suddenly feel sick. What the fuck? Killer. I really shouldn't. Damn.
<laughs> Can I kill this man? Kill him. <laughs> Please. That's my name. Alduin, he had the heart of a dragon. Funny. Walter White, his favorite color was blue. Marked one. My sanity, it was never really alive. There you go, Biddle, if you're in here. There you go, Biddle, there's your little Easter egg. Garrett, he was the master thief. Fiddle's like, yep, this game is good. I knew it. I knew this game was good. Ten out of ten, yeah. That evil witch killed our son. Bring me her head, Jesus. Jane Shepherd. She was a very hale and hearty person. Jane Shepard, Jennifer Hale, who voices Jane Shepard. I love this. I'm loving this. John Shepard. He left his mark on the world. Yo, that shit is clean. That is so clean. So I didn't realize I could pick up things in my inventory and like interact with them outside of my inventory. It makes me wonder on all the things I probably missed in the first chapter because I didn't know I could do that. Um, our well is dried up. I need someone to go down there and clear the rocks blocking the natural springs. The well will fill back up at no time. I'll make it worth your while. <clears throat> I 
I need to buy new pants. Same, sis, same. Are they gay? I love that for them. I love that for them. Warrior lady. All right. Based on your gear, you look like an adventurer. Would you happen to know where I could find some beeswax? I need it to harden these leather parts for new armor. You can use an armor upgrade yourself. I can teach you how to make a hardened leather armor. Dope. We're constructing a museum for our town. We do have need some interesting artifacts. We have plants some weird creatures. Great fan, it's a large swamp to the west of here. It's a magical place and you should find a lot of things you want there. I've marked areas of interest on it. Okay, cool. I have negative footsteps, serious do not sound familiar. Next goblet. Jesus. Only by, okay, but they must accept the relic willingly. What the fuck? I'm dead as hell, boy.
the curse was meant for her, not you. Oh, well that makes it better then. I know of a spell, but it's not very legal. What the fuck? You bitch, you got me fucked up. Damn, why he naked? Uh, the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker naked. Jesus. Bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what the hell? that package told me not to open it and to deliver it as soon as possible that other girl opened it or wait yeah that other girl was like hey can you open this for me and I was like okay then I got the curse I go back to Astera she's like sorry it was not meant for you it was meant for this other person but like I know a spell a blood magic spell I can use to revive my dead father let's just go to his grave and dig him up and then you can give it to him so we go and we do it he attacks her immediately she literally said he would be a mindless creature so I don't know how she didn't expect that he attacks her immediately I kill him she's like okay fuck this shit I'll just fucking I'll take the cup and then she's literally like, I hate this stupid thing. And then she <laughs> plops. <laughs> like, I love that. That was great. Estera, you're a bad bitch for that. I feel much better now. <laughs> Damn, and I buried the both of them. That's sad. That's fucking sad, dude. What the hell?
cool. That's cool. I like I like that. I wish it changed what I look like though. That would be cool. It is a secret shrine to the north of the town. Look for a passage to the woods behind the church. You may find something interesting there. Am I gonna get jumped? Is getting is me getting jumped interesting to you? I'd love to know. <clears throat> Yeah, I tried to go back here before. I don't know if you guys... Oh, Jesus. Remember that. Avoid stone. What the hell? Tide stone? Interesting. Okay, cool. It's scary here, but I love it.
I just grabbed it. I yoinked it. Probably shouldn't have just picked that up.
area looks really fucking cool. I like it. Oh my god, it's an axolotl. Do decadron. What the hell? Book of Artifacts. Skull of Worship, a dreary skull that is said to have been the skull of the first avatar of Nyx. It has been kept in secret for hundreds of years and it is said that you can talk directly to the goddess through this skull. A dagger infused with Azar's fire. It's a wondrous blade crafted deep in the volcano where Azar was born in. Mask of Transformation. Wielder of this mask may change shape to seem like an individual of any race. Urn of Eternity. This magical urn holds the ashes of the chosen Avalo. Seemingly bottomless inside, it currently contains the ashes of hundreds of warriors of the light. Staff of the Ancients. This stuff was constructed by four unknown individuals. It was said to hold strong void magic, but the real reason for the crafting of this artifact remains unknown. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? You killed a child. She lied to you. We were part of the same coven, but she was cast out of our gatherings. Now she aims to get us killed one by one by any means necessary. I don't know. I don't believe you. Quick time event. Jesus. Damn, I bopped her ass. Sheesh. Child killer. Uh, she probably didn't do it though. She probably didn't do. It. Damn, I did that to her head though. Jeez. She probably didn't do it though, did she? Probably not.
Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if she did it or not. Hmm, interesting. Wow. Oh! That's Talia's wife? What the fuck? Why'd she kill her wife? <laughs> what the hell? Yo, you in trouble, Missy. Maybe the witch planted it there, who knows. By the gods, you were right. No shit. <laughs> I wonder if there's a right answer. I don't know. All right, so what were we doing? Somehow I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, the witch thing. Maybe I should go back to the witch. Excuse me, I doubt she's gonna have anything to say to me. Yeah, I think that quest is done. I feel like... I feel like... Well, maybe the witch could have planted her body there, but we did see the wife... We did see the two of them together, and then... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just gonna go with that one. At least that one I got money. <laughs> I got money. I think you get renown either way. I don't know.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the fuck does that letter mean? Honestly, I don't know what to think. But, you know what? We gonna keep it with that because I got a hundred bucks from it. So that's lit. Sorry about the dead kid and the dead wife. But I'm not a police officer. And thank heavens for that. So I don't... That, that is not my job. You feel me? I'm just out here trying to collect plants. Trying to make money. That's it. That's it. I don't know who to trust at the moment in this game. I have no idea what's happening. But I did get that cryptic ass message. <clears throat> I guess you know what I should do? I guess I should load... Okay. I don't believe you. Damn you. Don't think that I'll be that easy to kill. I really just like cut her head off. Bada bing, bada boom. Brutal, yeah. Like, where is her wife? Did we get money from that? We got 50 bucks. Mmm. So I got... How much did I have before? I don't even remember. God, my memory is so bad. They got a stalker reference in the graveyard, marked one. Yeah. They got a stalker reference. They got a thief reference. They got a Mass Effect reference. They got some references. I respect it. Pog. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know which one of these is the right decision, to be honest. Oh, they have a Skyrim reference. <laughs> Breaking bad reference. We didn't need the likes of him, Pepe Hand. <laughs> we have wait not this one
I love that. I love that. <clears throat> Crit. Critical role. <laughs> Truly incredible. My sin. <laughs> So this is after I helped her. I guess they both give me renown. But like, where's her wife? <laughs> if she didn't kill her, then where is her wife? I got a bone to pick. So when they take Talia away and I go back to the witch's crib, there's nothing there but that letter. I just don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna go with this one, I think. This is not the right place. Beat that motherfucker's ass. Beat him up. Beat him up. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.
Give me my fucking money. Fighting you. But you only have one hand. Damn. I'm rich. I'm rich. What the fuck? Something smells fishy. <laughs> Where'd you get that fish? I have level 99 in fishing. Tamara? I bet you're the thief, Theodora. You're totally the thief, Theodora. Who the fuck is Tamara? Who the fuck is Tamara?
An Arkin... Arkin break? Arkin break? The world of Aura was forever changed after the Arkin break. On that one fateful night, two Inquisitors of the Order were on the trail of the witches, but they never managed to stop their plans. They had uncovered the creation stone and tried to activate it via dangerous means. This did not end well, however, and the experiments resulted in a gigantic magical explosion which destroyed the capital city of Arkrest. Thousands of people died instantly. The Arkin Break gave birth to all the different races that inhabit Aura today. Arkin Break also created a new god. Taika was born shortly after this incident, a new goddess of magic, mystery, and rebirth. Interesting. He was born here, but I was taken to a temple in the mountains. I hope there would be more. That's Lilith, the girl you. that stole from me. Where do you think you're going, thief? Give me back my money. I don't have it anymore. Let me go. I should just give you up to the guards. You'll never find Oron without me. What do you know of Oron? Tell me. Now. Get me out of here and I'll tell you. Don't worry, she's with me. Wait a second. I want to go back. Oh, fuck. Oops. Oh well. I wanted to see if there was anything else over here. It looks like there isn't. Fuck. What the fuck? Okay. Like, literally, where did she come from? Don't worry. Well, start talking. I heard you talking in your sleep. I know about Auron because we have something in common. I've been marked by the War Witch Covenant, and so have you. What do you mean? Explain yourself. You've held a special weapon in your hands recently, haven't you? Then the power within it activated and caused that burn on your face. How is that possible? Blood magic. And soon enough, they'll be able to control your mind. You don't want that to happen, do you? Shit. That's not good. What about you? How do I know you're not one of them? I have this. A mind stone. I've been able to shield myself from their influence with it. Well, that's convenient. I'm not about to become their puppet. I want them dead. Just stay close to me for a while. We can help each other. I'll help you find Oron, and you'll help me with the witches.
My lady, you haven't spoken much after our departure. Is everything all right? No, of course not. I can't believe my mother would do such a thing. Nobles have duels all the time. Maybe she has her reasons to doubt my father's actions. If she had a real reason, she would have told me. She's just being overprotective, as usual. No, I don't want to talk about this. Let's just focus on us, okay? Of course, my lady. Should have been a lesbian. Now, we should get out of town before they. Oh, Nix, take you. They're already here. Come on, follow me. I think we lost them. Damn it, I didn't know they were so close. They've been trying to find you for long? For a couple of months now. Good thing I had this void stone. Couldn't have gotten away without it. I have to get me one of those things. Any ideas where to find one? You literally have one in your inventory. I stole mine from the Oaken Spire. They have plenty. The scholars there are studying the Void Stones. Surely they won't miss another one. That could work. Don't they also have maps of the surrounding area? We could find out where that temple mentioned in Aron's papers is. What the hell? What the hell? Why is she ripped? Cause she's a cambian. I don't know. Cute though. Hmm. Yeah, is she? I bet that's what she wants you to think. Um, I don't know, I don't know where the witch thief, I mean the fish thief is, Lamal. The fish thief. I don't know where they are. The fish thief.
Tamara is a thief. Who is Tamara? Where is she? Where is she? I don't know, dude. Whatever, let's move on. Wait a second. Alright, never mind. Save did I want to look? Oh, <laughs> why? Nope. If she of course. Well, what we sh I think they've been burg. I have I saw that. Okay, so, okay. I get it. Okay. with naughty scribbles on it. Okay.
Ages of Aura. Did I read that one already? No, I didn't. The beginning marks the start of this age. Most of the great cities and castles were built during this time. The age lasted for 1,372 years. Many kings lived and died as Aura's rulers in this age. Age of Troubles. The fall of Arcris marks the start of the age, the time after the Ark and Break incident, a time of discord, overthrowing of the kings in the time of change. All the races mutated from humans and magic was being used to spread more chaos. The age lasted for 194 years. Age of Magic. When people recovered from the Age of Troubles and accepted the use of magic, most of the developments in technology and magic happened during this time. The age has lasted for 499 years and counting. Is that a cat boy? I'm scared. Lamau. Fifty. Oh, my renown. That's funny. <laughs> I love how I can just be like, hey, I'm famous. Give me that. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I grinded. Damn, why do I have 14 renown? What? When I had like nine. How did I get so much renown? I mean, I'm not complaining, but damn. Where's the fish thief? Just tell me. Apparently it's Tiana or Tamara or some shit, but I don't, like, who is that? Have I seen them? I don't even know. Oh boy, what flavor. Do you guys want to see something really cursed?
Huh. Maybe this is quest related. I just haven't gotten it yet or something. Stab it. Damn, I sure thought that would work. Oh my god, it's a dead person. What the fuck? Hello? Why are they- hello? You're telling me I found this fucking secret. Aren't that the two, uh... Wait. Oh, this is the... The two merchant brothers. This is the one that gave me the dagger. He's the one I bought the dagger from. The, like, the blood magic one or whatever. These environments are very cool looking. I like them a lot. I'm scared. That's... that's Auron. It, it has to be. He's a demigod. Great. I, I never knew. How is that possible? If they'll be able to control a demigod, there's no telling what could happen. Ah, you finally arrived. Excellent. Orin was right about you, after all. Submit to our will! Damn, why is she caked up? We about to get clapped. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ouchie. Brain blast! <clears throat> Damn.
This is dead. <clears throat> Get up! <laughs> Get the fuck up! Please. Oh, she's up. Your foolish struggle is pointless. Men, we return to the keep. Damn it all, who the hell was that? They call her the Exile. She's one of the leaders of the Covenant. You must be more important to them than I thought. They have Auron. Do you know about the keep she mentioned? <clears throat> Nightwell Keep. The place has been sealed for decades. I know of someone who could be able to tell us how to get in. The village elder in Little Ivywood. He was one of the builders of the place. I wonder if they're home. Hello there! Can I help you? Oh, God. Oh, hello. C can you tell us where to find the village elder? Master went on a fishing trip. He told me there's a good spot at the Fallen Torch. You know, the abandoned lighthouse. I can take you there if you want. She literally looks like our daughter, but just is purple hair thank you that's very kind of you she's the same face why are you so joyful Ugh, makes me sick well <laughs> aren't you Ugh. absolutely precious those Ugh. eyes that beautiful skin and those abs all right this is a little too tropey for me get away from me <laughs> You'll surely enjoy my company. You'll see. <laughs> Ugh. God, I hated that. I hated that.
master. I did as you told me. The uh. scar travelers are here. Yes, master. I understand. The master has been waiting. And he has prepared instructions for you. The doors of the night will keep are sealed with void magic, but they can be opened with a special key. You must gather four pieces and put them all together. The staff of Balo, the headpiece of the damned, the banner of time, and the hourglass of the void. Good night, pokers. Get some rest. Once you have the first three, return here. Anything else, master? Of course, Master. The Master has instructed me to help you in your mission. I hope you don't mind. It's fine by me. Lilith? Eh, sure. Why not? They must be separated into four different four pieces. You have to keep them safe. So where and where the high priest Devalo gets the staff, keep it with the faithful. Magar the mighty gets the headpiece. It has to stay underground because it holds dangerous magic. Lady Dahlia Evergreen gets the banner. Keep it close to your body always. The hourglass stays with the master. Interesting. Uh, that's a dead person. Okay. I've been here for a long time. I was there when it happened. There's no escape. What the fuck? This means nothing to me. What the fuck? Okay. Well then.
Something weird just happened. Yeah, you don't say. You don't say. <laughs> Swirling inside the orb. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, Lamau. Um. Bitch. What the fudge? There's a man's shadow inside the orb. You hear a voice inside your head. What are you willing to sacrifice to save the ones you love? Everything. My strength, my agility, my voice, my reputation. What happens if you select voice? That's interesting. Oh, social, okay. Wait a second, where did he go? Where did he go? Why was I not chosen? Everything's my fault. You have to sacrifice a part of you. Hmm. Okay. I created her. I was doing the right thing. She is evil. Why am I still here just to suffer? She was more powerful. I thought I was doing the right thing. I 
There's a brain. The orb feels hot. Cannot take your hands off it. It feels like your hands are burning. The sensation then passes. You lose some of your health. Wait. This is interesting. And I have no idea what any of it means at the moment. Interesting. Can I read this, please? What the fuck? back later. Wow. You fucking cunt. Noble Families by the Traveler. Reed. Edwin Reed was the last of his family until he married Johanna, a mere commoner. Johanna had a young daughter called Evelyn from a previous relationship. Edwin Reed was the last of his family until he married Johanna, a mere commoner. Johanna had a young daughter called Evelyn from a previous relationship. Edwin owns the Gilded Mare, a luxurious inn in a tavern popular among the rich folk and adventurers. Maxwell, a family of the Red Baron, a notorious commander of, commander of the watch, 
Watch your order. Their family consists of humans and elves. They started the tradition of arena fighting. Each year, they hold a large festival, and the greatest warriors from all around Aura gather to fight for the title of arena champion. Direcliff. The most open-minded people in Aura, they accept all the races into their family. That makes them easily the largest noble family. Their main job is to guard the merchant's bay and the trade routes that go through it. They are competent sailors and archers and builders of the fastest ships of the seas. White Scar, the family who created the Watcher Order, a prideful bunch, only allowing human, human descendants. They are generally seen as very rude towards any other race than humans. They are largely hated everywhere except by the Maxwell family and a select few groups of people. There's a name etched to the cross, Dahlia. Dahlia. It's on her body. Oof. I'm not sure what to do.
there. I don't know what to do. Jesus. Wow, look at the view. Are you doing okay, Evelyn? Oh, yes. I'm fine. <laughs> well, it's because it's like the place I'm entering, nobody is supposed to enter. So. Oh, was I walking too fast? I'm terribly sorry, my lady. No, no, it's <laughs> fine. I do these kinds of trips every day. <sighs> yeah. Come, my lady, let's sit. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar. <laughs> <sighs> that was quite the climb. She's lazy, girl. Mm. No, I disagree. She could be out of shape, but that doesn't mean she's lazy. Yeah. She might have asthma. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad that that my daughter is having a fun time with the the son of a maniac while I'm fighting for my fucking life out here, bro. God damn. Young one's manners, yeah, right?
Make sure I don't have unfinished business. I can't do the fucking fish quest. I can't find the fish thief. Where are they? <clears throat> Where's the fish? I can't say where the fish are. It's okay. Can you just climb that fence? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. You can totally climb this shit. Look at this. Look at that. You could literally climb this. But whatever. But whatever. I might not be. Okay, here's the thing. It says, I might not. You might not be able to return. What the hell does that mean? I might not be able to return. What the fug? Yeah, I think that quest is bugged. Could be wrong, but I feel like it is. Because <clears throat> I looked for that dude... I looked for Tamara everywhere. Oh God. Come back, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Opening the way, the names of the creators, the red liquid that makes us happy, the weapon that our masters wielded, the most beautiful flower. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I love that. So that picture is the, I guess, the cover art for the game. Looks like that. I love that. That's so cute. Followers of Nike, Snicks. To follow a god is to be loyal, faithful, and strong. Our ways have long been scorned upon, but no longer. No longer will we stand in the shadows. No longer will we hear the mocking, the cursing, the general disdain for our people. The path has been laid before us. Our future is clear. The plan is set into no motion. Soon we will spread our lady's words across the land. 
She is preparing to lead us into a better place. Soon all will see the truth. Faithful come to us in the Lone Mountain. Where is everyone? Damn it! Look! Is that... Auron? Quick! We have to go after them! Same. Same, bestie, same. <clears throat> the names of the creators. The red liquid that makes us happy. So that's wine. The weapons that... Okay, so... Blank wine, blank flower. Wait. Blank... Wine, weapon, flower. The creators. Who the fuck... The creators. The creators. I wonder if it means the portrait or the picture. Oh, I thought that would be cool if it, when it said the creators, it meant the picture of the game. That would be kind of cool. Oh, wait. I can never play point and clicks. I 
I get that. Oh, okay. Stays pressed in place. That's what I was looking for. The wine. The weapon and then the flower. That's cool. I like that little puzzle. Chapter three on the trail. <clears throat> Bring me all the records of watcher missions from 10 years ago. This is it. Where the hell is that? Well then, looks like we have company. Welcome, friends. Let him go! I apologize, but we're not done with him yet. <sighs> Such a powerful being. You're gonna pay for what you've done. Hmm, yes, the feisty one. And what about you? Seems like we have a new member in the party. Just you wait until I get my claws on you! I'm afraid our rematch has to wait. There's much work to be done. They're early. War witches, hold them back. Bopped. Bopped. You guys are wearing robes, you fucking dorks. Lamau, you dorkwads. Damn. Johanna. Am I glad to see you safe? Get away from me, Baldy. What are you doing here? Hold your blade. We have to talk. <clears throat> What's there to talk about? That was Auron you saw here, wasn't it? He's still alive? Get to your point, and quickly. Listen, I didn't kill him all those years ago. It was my father, who has since passed away. So you did know what I was talking about. Well, why didn't you tell me that right away? I didn't know at the time. I had to search sealed Stab records him. about the matter to get to the bottom of it. He was sent on a mission back then. What mission? To kill an innocent man? It's not that simple. Please. We have to head to the safety of my home, Maxwell Keep. I will tell you all about it once we've arrived. Johanna, I think we should trust him. It seems like we have a common enemy. Fine. I'll hear what he has to say. Let's head to the water garden of Halcyon first. There's someone we have to meet. Mother? Hello, little duff. 
What are you doing here with Lord Maxwell of all people? Are you not even gonna ask about my fucking face? I'm sorry, dear. There's a lot to talk about. We're going to the Maxwell Keep. You should come with us. And abandon the pilgrimage? Bitch. <laughs> there are more important things to think about now. <laughs> Your mother is in grave danger, and we have to do everything in our power to keep her safe. What? My lady, we should listen to my father. It sounds serious. She didn't even ask about my eye, or run to hug me, or nothing. This bitch. I swear to God. What the fug? Why did Lilith turn around like that? That was weird. Edwin. Who? Joanna. You're okay. Oh yeah, her like husband. I'm fine. I had some help. I'm so happy that you're safe. Who are your friends? These are Lilith and Violet. Cheers. Hi. Well, thank you both for keeping my wife safe. Hey, Edwin. <laughs> Glad to see you well, little one. Could everyone gather around the table, please? As you all might know, the Warwitch Covenant has been a rising threat these past few years. We, the Watchers, have been fighting back, trying to protect the common folk. They've been using blood magic to make unsuspecting people their puppets, as they tried with Johanna. Using Void Stones to protect your mind is a good idea, but it's only a temporary solution. Please try not to be inappropriate. Thank you. Luckily. We've located the source of their mind control abilities. It's a great tree in the spell rot wasteland. It's very much like the great oak of Oakenforge, but this one is withered and dead. The witches have corrupted the tree, which then acts as a beacon of sorts. With it, they're able to control the marked people everywhere on the mainland. It's okay, it's just, yeah, try not to be inappropriate. Destroying the corruption would limit their controlling magic greatly and would be able to free many of their puppets from that grasp. My men are spread thin fighting the witches all around the continent. Johanna, if you're willing, you should go with your friends and put an end to it. I thought you wanted to keep me safe, and now you're sending me on a dangerous mission? Listen, Johanna, I am sorry about our fight, and I know why you would think it was me. I look a lot like my father back then, I wear the same armor as he did, and... Aragon wields his sword. My father made a mistake. He was told that Oron was a blood mage, and he would have to be slain for the good of everyone. As to why Oron is with the Covenant now, we don't know. They may have resurrected him as their puppet, so I must warn you, he may not be himself anymore. You've proved that you can handle yourself. My men can keep the witches occupied while you and your friends can be relatively safe out there. This is personal. Let's do this. Count me in! Very well. We'll do it. The Great Oak is called the Sacred Tree by some tribesmen near the area. Seek them out for any information about the tree and how to deal with the corruption. The tree lies in the spell rot wasteland, <clears throat> which means no void magic works there. Take care while traveling through that area. The next morning. Wow. What the fuck? 
Go kill the- stab her. Stab her ass. She's like, I just want to be alone. I like literally nearly died. Like, what the fuck, bitch. <laughs> Throw her in the bin. <laughs> Throw her in- that's it. You're going in the soup. Rich people. Rich people be like, I think I'll buy a pony made out of silver and put it in my bedroom. Fauna of Aura. World of Aura is inhabited by a lot of different species. The climate in different regions determine what kind of animals you see the most. There are a lot of goats, sheep, and horses to the north, while you can find camels, lizards, and exotic birds to the south. Monsters appeared after Ark and Break, but most of them were driven off the mainland and now dwell on the Pandora Island. It's like they're compensating for something. So true, bestie. Yeah, it's fucking huge. I love food, yes. Relight up all. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
Ra Rakid Redmain was a great warrior, husband, and adventurer. He led the expedition of the Twin Islands and discovered an ancient altar where they used to worship the dragons. He was also incredibly handsome and smart. The ladies loved him. His great red mane was something the others would only dream of having. Okay, my dude. Damn, what I do though? She's the captain of the ship. She goes by Captain Kid. She's almost also most likely dressed as a man, so there's that. I hope you find her quickly. Tell her that Renard wants her to come back and that it's urgent. What do you mean she dresses like a man? What does what does that mean? What's the hurry? They've been eyeing her our ship the whole time. We've been docked here. Rifle owners of all the goods on board. But women wear pants too. I'm literally wearing pants right now. Back in the old days, women didn't wear pants. Really? Really? How old are we talking? Like, before they existed, they didn't wear pants? You don't- okay, so when did women first start wearing pants? And why'd they make the change? So first off, you say, back in the old days, women didn't wear pants. And then you say, in the 1800s, they started wearing pants. But it wasn't acceptable for good women to dress in that fashion. So did they wear pants, or did they not wear pants? <laughs> 
Anyway, um... <laughs> Moving on. Worship this skinny dude who plays guitar. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't think you know anything about pant wearing women. Look it up. No, I don't think I will. His name is Joshua. Oh my god. What the hell? I based my understanding off of years of study. You've studied? You've studied? Women and the history of women wearing pants. That was your that was your major? Pants wearing women? Okay. I still don't believe you though. I think you're lying. I think you're just, I think you're fibbing. Your major was history? Now I just feel bad for you. I'm just giving you shit. That hurts? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Here lies the liar, here lies the dishonest one, and then here lies the pretender. Interesting. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. It's okay. I was just giving you shit. It's fine. I believe you. Sorry if I upset you. You didn't, okay. Witch rituals. There are multiple locations where the potency of void magic is enhanced. These places are important to us, allowing us to gain more power. These locations are places where Nyx's spirit is strong. Through one of the rituals performed in one of these sites, I've been beyond the void. I've seen beyond the void. This world is so much more than what the scholars are writing about. There are more worlds to be explored. I'm trying to create a ritual to travel to those worlds. I hope I will succeed soon.
Sandra underscore seven. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, interesting. Do you want some wine? Up, oh, there's another one. What the fuck is going on over there? Interesting. He is currently preoccupied. <laughs> Jesus. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Okay. My lord. <clears throat> Damn, I can't even go in there. What the fuck?
Help me. What? Oh, what's that? You need me to come with you? Oh, sure, I guess. Quite a bummer, though, because I was having so much fun with my friends here. Uh, sure, bye. <laughs> oh my god. Hunter's book. <sighs> Stay safe. Wow, that is so, so helpful. Thank you. Why didn't I think about that, dude? This whole time, here I am, getting into trouble, having bad things happen to me, when I could have just stayed safe. Duh. of Phoenix somewhere in the spell rat wasteland find the nest of this fiery flying creature and grab its egg be careful I think it won't take kindly to you taking its offspring take the egg to the sacred tree and smash it magical fire will engulf the tree but only the corruption will burn do this and we'll be ever in your debt Dragon will forgive. Probably not. Ew, that's gross. Do we really need the phoenix egg? Couldn't we just, you know, set the tree on fire? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I presume a magical tree needs a magical fire to destroy it. Yeah, let's keep going. One second. Uh oh. Um. You're pirates. Oh my god.
Damn, social aid. They stole our ship. Oh my god. Damn. The god damn. Yeah, let's fucking fight. Let's try it. Why not? Don't be jealous. Normally, I don't even eat dinner. But my brother got some food earlier, so he got me some food as well.
Where the fuck are the fucking iron boxes? Wow, these, um, these are fucking depressing, dude. But very true. What is it? I'm just here to warn you that there is a decaying effect over this place at all times. Spend too much time here and your body will slowly die. I have these potions that will slow the effect, but it's only a temporary solution. I can give you a few for free, but you have to pay should you need more. Lit. <laughs> All right. All right. With the fug. <clears throat> oh, look at these little cacti. That's so cute. I love that for them. Holy shite. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Here, I guess? I don't know. Suppliers camp? I don't know. I don't know where I am. It's fine. I can't read maps, so. This is a very good RPG Maker game. I don't know if it was made using RPG Maker. I can get why you'd say that, but I don't know if it was. Aren't RPG Maker games normally, like, more zoomed out? And also, aren't the characters normally, like, more pixelated shrines or something? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say, dude. <laughs> Some of them are not. Gotcha. I don't know if this was made on RPG Maker. But, yeah, I don't know, I really like this game, so far. I'm fucking lost! <laughs> Shocker. This music is nice.
This is where it came from. Yes, it is. <clears throat> We're looking for the tomb of Apodom Apodamic, an ancient king. Um, that motherfucker dead. I should have become a farmer, damn. I buy them for 50 and she buys them for 50. So I'm not adding up. I mean, for 30. How many can I sell her? Yeah, like, what? I buy them for $50. And she buys them for 30. Make it make sense.
It gave him resistance of fire, Pog Champ. <clears throat> What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, I just got so cold. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh. Alright, bye. Damn. R.I.P.
Oh shit, I have 600. Oh shit. That fucks. That's, that fucks so hard. I just yoinked it, Lamau. What the fuck? I see. It's like, why did the game save while I was walking up there? Okay. <laughs> All right, sure. I got an achievement. I'm rich and Tomb Raider. How much money do I have? Holy smokes. I'm rich. Let's go.
Bruh. So that's just a, I mean, I guess, what is even the point of that? If it's just infinite, that doesn't really make any sense to me. I'm so tired. for a few weeks. Holy shit, he gave me 11? What the fuck? I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay, 11 times 30, or 6 times 30. He probably didn't give me 11, but I probably had some left over from when I bought. I don't know. I was so tired. Where am I?
I am so lost and I am so tired. Please. Okay, I have to go to sleep. I'm like falling.